Sketching cubic graphs. Uh, okay, this is the given general form of a cubic function ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and a, b, c, d are real numbers. Particularly, a, can, a, a, a can't be 0 because if a is 0, this function is a quadratic function. We don't call it cubic function anymore. So, a cannot be 0, b, c, d can take any real values. So if we are given a particular cubic function, we are going to learn how to sketch the graph of the given cubic function. But before that, the cubic function, the cubic graph may take several forms. We have already learned about quadratic functions. Quadratic graph, it can be this or upside down. Depends upon the value of a uh, the value of the quotient of x called ax square plus bx plus c. Let's say this is a given quadratic function. If a is positive, the graph will look like this. If a is negative, it will be this. But even a is positive, there are three types actually. It may just touch the x-axis, sometimes it never touches the x-axis. Same goes for a less than 0. This is a greater than 0, a less than 0. If a is a negative number. But how about cubic functions? The cubic function, the graph of a cubic function may take several forms, any one of these forms. It can be something like this, or uh, the, the opposite of this. Sometimes it may even look like this, or uh, like this. All these are cubic graphs. It may take any one of these forms. But how do we know, uh, the how, how, how do we sketch the graph if we are given a particular function? First step, we need to find the roots of the given cubic function. Again here, I'm not going to teach you how to find the roots of the cubic function, how to solve a cubic function because this topic is about sketching cubic graph. So we will be mostly dealing with the cubic functions which are in factorized form, that means something like this, let's say x minus 2 into x plus 1 into 1 minus x. When you multiply everything, all these three factors, you will get a cubic function, but the function is in the factorized form already. So first we need to equate this function to 0 and find the roots, then uh, there are few things you need to take note before you, you move on to sketching the graphs. So let's see how do we sketch the graph. We are given a cubic function which is in the factorized form already x minus 2 into x plus 1 into x minus 1. So before sketching the graph we need to solve this, solve this function and find the roots of this function. By roots I mean the values of x which makes the function value, the value of function to 0. That means equate this function to 0, x minus 2 into x plus 1 into x minus 1 equals 0. Equate the function to 0 and same like solving a quadratic quadratic equation, equate the uh, variable, uh, this is a variable, equate the factors to 0 separately. So your x minus 2 is 0, x plus 1 is 0 and x minus 1 is 0. So you get three x values, x is 2 and x is minus 1 and x is positive 1. So we got three values for x. Now, before sketching the graph again, we need to take note of the coefficient of x cube. After when you multiply everything, you will get a x cube, x cube term. You, we need to know, before sketching the graph, it is very important to know the coefficient of x cube, whether it's a positive, we don't need to know the particular value, we need to know whether it's a positive or negative value. Because the, the graph for the cubic function may take different forms, depends upon the coefficient of x cube. So when you multiply, you don't need to multiply this whole function one by one, no. 
Just take a look at x. When you multiply the x, 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 you will get positive x cube. The value, the coefficient of x can be anything. We, are, we need to check whether it's positive, positive or not, positive or negative. So the coefficient of x cube is positive because in when we sketch the cubic graph, it may take two types or uh, uh, two forms depends upon the value of uh, a, depends upon the uh, nature of a. If it is positive, your graph is going to look like this. If it is negative, the graph will be flipped or like inverted. This will be your graph. If a is less than 0, a is greater than 0. So it is very important to take note of the coefficient of x square before moving on to sketch the graph. Now all we know, uh, we, our a is greater than 0, that means the coefficient of x cube is greater than 0, so our graph is going to look like this. But again, we need to uh, plot the points first. We have 3 x values, 2, uh, minus 1, 1, 2. So uh, x, y plane, x, y plane, and plot the points on the x axis, plot the points minus 1, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 2. So we are ready to plot the sketch the diagram, sketch the graph, because our a also greater than 0, so our graph is going to look like this. But again, if you want to know the y intercept, Whenever you want to know the y-intercept, replace x by 0 because on the uh, y-axis, if you take any point, the x-coordinate will be 0. So if you replace x by 0, it will be 0 minus 2 is minus 2 times 0 plus 1 is 1 times 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So when you multiply all, you get 2. So your y-intercept will be 2. So now we have all the points where the curve, where the curve intercept coordinate axis. Now uh, we can just sketch the diagram. Our graph will be like this. This will be our cubic graph. And if you are sometime in your exam, you are sketching two graphs in the same xy plane, it's always, uh, it's always good to uh, label the graphs. So uh, when we label the graph, our given graph is y equals x minus 2, x minus 2 into x plus 1 into x minus 1. So this is our graph because since a is positive, if a is negative, your graph will be the inverted form of this. Okay, again, sometimes when you solve, when you find the roots of the cubic function, you will get some two equal roots something like this, you will get x1, 1 and minus 2. Sometimes you can see all the three values will be the same, a minus 1, minus 1. So what do we do if we come across this type of cubic functions? So we are given a cubic function where we have two equal factors x minus 1, x minus 1 and 2 minus x. Our first step, we need to equate them to 0. x minus 1, x minus 1, 2 minus x equals 0. So when you solve this, you will get 3x values, x is 1, 1, 2. So we got 3x values. You need to equate the factors separately to 0. And the next step, we need to, we cannot just move on to sketching the graph. We need to take note of the coefficient of x, x cube always. So when you multiply the x as x, x minus x. So when you multiply x, x and minus x, you will get minus x cube. So which tells us that the coefficient of x cube is less than zero because our graph may take either one of these form depends upon the value of uh, a, nature of a. If it is greater than 0, the graph will look like this. If a is less than 0, the graph will take this form. Now our a is less than 0, so we know that our graph is going to look like this. But again, it's supposed to intercept x-axis at 3 points, but we have 2 equal points. So what do we do when, you have, when we have 2 equal points? First draw the x, there is no negative value 
only positive so this is x axis y axis so on this x y plane i'm going to plot the points 1 and 2 1 and 2 again we need to find the y intercept so make x as 0 in this given equation given equa function when you replace x by 0 we will be left with minus when you replace x by 0 minus 1 into minus 1 into 2 so we will get a positive 2 that that's our y intercept so we got all the x intercept and y intercept now we are going to move on to sketching the graph and we know since x our coefficient of x cube is less than 0 our graph is going to look like this now we need to you need to take note of this whenever you have two equal values the graph will touch the x-axis at the particular point where we have two equal values it will never pass through the x-axis so uh, our x has two equal values at one so our graph will be this sorry maybe i draw it properly so it will be something like this this is our graph you see a less than zero that's why we start from top if a is greater than zero we need to start from here but since a is less than zero our graph will look like this but why it touches x axis at the point one because we have two equal values one so let's say we have two equal values like minus one minus one two minus one minus one two and our a is for example, let's say a is greater than 0. a is greater than 0. We have these two values. So when you plot the curve, our minus 1 is here, 1, 2 is here. Since we have two equal values, minus 1, minus 1, our graph is going to touch the x-axis at minus 1 and will pass through 2. Since a is greater than 0, this graph. If A is less than 0, it will be the inverted graph. This, this is for A less than 0. This is for A greater than 0. So that's why we always need to pay attention to the coefficient of x square before sketching the cubic graph. Same like quadratic, quadratic function. Now, what if all the three values are the same? Let's say, let me take a function. Now, question 3, we have x minus 1 whole cube. That means all these three values of x will be the same. We have three factors, x minus 1, x minus 1, and x minus 1. When we equate them to 0, we have three x values which are all same. Three same x values. So, uh, how do we plot this graph? Okay, now next thing we need to take note of the coefficient of x, which is positive here. So, our coefficient of x is positive. So, our graph will be x-axis and y-axis. The y-intercept, if you want to find the y-intercept, replace x by 0, it will be minus 1 whole cube, which is minus 1. So our y intercept is minus 1 and x intercept is 1. Point 1 is where the curve meets x axis. How the graph will look like? So for this graph, since all the values are same, the graph will be something like this. It will be like this. This will be our graph. If you replace it by 1 minus x whole cube, let's say this is the given function. Our coefficient of x is minus 1. So when you cube it, uh, it will be minus 1. So your coefficient of x will be negative and the y coordinate will be positive 1. So our graph will be something like this. If a is less than z, this will be our graph. So this is how we plot the cubic graphs. Sometimes you will get functions like this. f of x is x square into x minus 2. 
When you find the roots of this function, you will get x is 0, 0 and 2. That means you got two equal values. So as I explained already, the graph is going to touch the x-axis at the point 0. And again, when you find the y-intercept, when you replace x by 0, your whole thing becomes 0, your y-intercept also 0. And the coefficient of x cube is positive. So it's 0, 1, 2. Our graph will be this. This is the given graph. If our a is less than 0, our graph will be this. So these are all the cubic graphs. Let's say this is our given cubic function x cubed plus 5x squared plus 4x, no constant term. We can factorize it easily by taking the common term x out. So it becomes x squared plus 5x plus 4. Again, factorize the quadratic function using the factorization method, product sum method. We'll get two terms x plus 4 into x plus 1. So you got you got the cubic function in the factorized form. Now we can just you can just follow the steps to sketch the graphs. Sometimes you will have a function y equals x cube, just cube only. So your coefficient of x cube is positive and all the roots are zero. So your graph will be this. This will be your cubic graph. Touches the x and y axis only at zero. But if you have some constant term here, you need to know how to factorize the cubic function. Otherwise, it's, it's hard to sketch the graph. So let me sum up whatever we learned today. We learn about sketching cubic graphs. If you are given a cubic function in the factorized form, or if you are able to factorize the given cubic function, find the roots of the function first, and you will get either three different values, or two equal values and one distinct value, or all the three equal values. So then, once you got the equation, before you move on to sketching the graph, I repeat this again and again, you need to pay attention to coefficient of x cube. If it is positive, the graph will be this. If your coefficient of x cube is negative, the graph will be this. So it depends on the coefficient of uh, x cube.